Today I'm gonna teach you step by step how to make this type of edit inside the After Effects. It's a piece of cake, I promise, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna teach you all the tricks, tips and everything you need to know to make edits better than this, okay? Editor, have you ever imagined having one terabyte of premium files and editing videos like this? With the Creative Pack, you'll get exclusive files to edit in any software, whether on your computer or your phone. Plus, you'll receive eight amazing bonuses, including a program pack, an After Effects pack, an overlay pack, a music pack, and much more. Get your pack now, click learn more. Okay guys, so first I'm gonna create a new composition, so Control N. And those right here is gonna be my settings. You can just copy them and just click OK. In the description, you can assess the images. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna use the first one will be this one. Import kind this composition. Yeah, okay, just click OK. Double click, Control A, Control C, go back and paste it. You can delete this one. Control A again, Control Alt home control home press s and you can increase it i'm gonna put like right here yeah that's good as you can see uh the layers is separated and we're gonna start animating the hair of this curl right here so i'm gonna uh click right here and yeah that's good go to the puppet tool and click right here and right here those two points right here we're not gonna move okay so we'll just lock in because if you don't put those points this parts this part right here gonna move and will not be very realistic you know so yeah it's important and just make yeah the points i guess right here yeah that's good just do the same for the other again click right here right here and then right here and just yeah that's pretty fun i have a video about how to make hair animation you can check out below in the description it is really easy to like animate the hair and and cut the layers you know so don't worry about it it is really easy and um, yeah that's perfect okay i'm gonna just change the color to not lose myself and to organize uh so click right here holding shift click right here and i'm gonna put like yellow because this yellow it's gonna be the girl you know as you can see yeah and to animate the hair now it's gonna be really easy so just click on the puppet tool and click right here holding shift right here and then right here go to a window and all this way all those plugins and scripts have on my address pack okay it's malware free doesn't have any ads or things like that so you don't need to worry about it just click on apply okay and just do the same right here on the shift right here right here right here and right here click apply yeah that's perfect you can change a little bit of the scale for example uh let me see this right here i can increase it press s just increase it press v and you can just put like right here and process yeah to me it looks pretty good and um, i'm gonna animate on those two characters also so again just change the color to not lose myself it's important to organize your layout yeah i guess that's perfect so i just got the head yeah this press y and put like right here press r holding out click and put like wiggle zero point i guess five comma i don't know nine you can increase a little bit of the head scale and put uh on the bottom right here and uh, i guess we, i'm gonna increase it a little bit i got 16 yeah i guess that's good and for the girl just do the same like the hair i'm gonna like put it right here will be the arm right here and right here i'm gonna put like two points right here also i just make a animation go some friends forward press v and i'm gonna put like i guess something like that 
select those keyframes, click keyframe assistance, time reverse curve keyframe, and yeah, F9, do something like that. I guess it's good. Can change it later. So, uh, Control A, Control A, click on the 3D. And I'm gonna make a new camera, so right button right here, new camera, those right here, my settings, just click OK. And I'll get the background, press B, and go like 2000, press S, can increase it. Yeah, create a new node, so right button again, new node, get this, and just connect on the node. The camera will follow the node now. Click on the 3D, press B, and you can just change it. And um, yeah, the first animation is gonna be click on the click on the clock, go some friends forward, and just make this animation right here. F9, and just gonna put it on the quarter. My PC it's almost dying. And just make this graph. Don't forget, Control S. And as you can see, it's making this animation right here. So create new node again. Node. But like right here. Connect this node to this node. Click on the 3D. Press B. Click on the clock. Go some friends for it. And I'm gonna. But like. Right here. F9 and make this graph right here. And it's making this animation right here. I'm gonna make a new node again. Connect this node to this node. Click on the 3D, press B. Click on the clock and I'm gonna put like right here. F9 and again make that graph. Now I'll get this right here. Press click on the 3D. Press B. You can move a little bit forward. Press holding shift press S. You gotta press it. You have to like right here. Press B, click on the clock right here, press V, and just make this animation. I'll move a little bit forward, F9, I'm gonna make this graph right here, like right here. Again, create new node, connect, click on the 3D, press B, click on the clock, and just but like right here it is very fast so I'm gonna slow down I'm gonna make this graph yeah something like this I'm gonna make a new node again connect click on the 3d and this will be the last animation press B click on the clock and I'm gonna put like F9 <laughs> make this graph. I'm just gonna change something like right here, press U and put this keyframe right here, like right here. And then right here, I'm gonna for now remove this girl. I don't see her right now, you know. Just, yeah, just right here. I'll get the logo. So, and uh, this one right here, just by the effect convert. Uh, but yeah, the effect extract and just remove. Yeah, perfect. Come to the 3D, press us, get the crystal. I'm gonna blank right here, press a scale. And when the the last camera animation starts, you can uh, make an animation right here. So press T, click right here, 
pad a little bit forward and pad zero right here. So it's gonna make this animation right here. First thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit lower here on the this text. Uh, something like this. I have this preset right here also to make a tiny animation for the image. Make this type of animation as you can see and have it on my editor's back as well. So we're gonna make a uh, new edition ruler. So control alt y and add a lux effect. If you want to change a little bit of the color, for example. I forget to, to save Control S. Just like I did. For example, I find this really great. I mean, yeah, it looks way better, right? We can duplicate this and clicking Edit again. I got this also, and you can decrease the strength. And as I'm gonna just animate the this girl. Double click. All the wins is separated. Okay. And um, press Y and put like right here. And do the same for the the others. Oh, it's just, this is the arm. Put like right here. And um, put like right here. Always uh, in the beginning. Right here. And put like right here. As you can see, I have this bug right here. Just go to erase tool, double click. And you can just erase it. Yeah, that's perfect. So to animate, it is really easy. I'm, I'm gonna use the wiggle as I uh, used it before. So R, hold the alt click, and put like wiggle, let me see, 2, comma, uh, 15, I guess. Oh, well, it is really fast. And be a little bit slower, I guess, 1. Yeah, I guess it's a little bit better. You can put it like right here. I guess it would be way better. Yeah, I guess that's good. Control C. And you can paste that in all the layers. I'm gonna press S, increase a little bit of this arm, and put like right here. Do the same for this one. And as you can see, it's everything animated. Yeah, that's perfect. And something you can do is duplicate this layer. But the effect grow bounce on the this right here, you can increase. I like dip glow, decrease the exposure. Yeah, to be something like this, you can increase also the opacity of the background. So the first scene is looking like this. I really hope you like it. I really hope you learned something from me today. And please check my editor's pack. And if you want to see more parts of this video, drop a like. Thank you so much guys and have a good one.